Guess what, folks? The Linux community now has a voice. Instead of chatting on IRC, now we have a nice channel that we can chat on. And we're using a program called TeamSpeak 3. Now, I'm introducing a new element. Well, not entirely new. Uh, actually, I'm adding this to my audience participation playlist and this is going to be a great opportunity for you guys to uh, communicate with me with questions and answers and that sort of thing and um, and some of some of the uh, communications that I have on here we're going to actually uh, have as uh, on the show so if you want to be a show guest this is a great way for you to uh, to communicate but also you're going to be able to get immediate answers to your questions from the Linux community. These are some great guys who have a lot of experience and are always willing to help you. And so we're going to look at TeamSpeak 3 today on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Oh, right. I'll tell you what, this Linux distro TeamSpeak 3 community is pretty darn nice. It's new. Um, it has 50 slots right now, but it will expand in time uh, when uh, there's more demand for it. But um, it is my hope that my subscribers will consider using this because this is a great way that you can get answers to your Linux questions and also I will be spending a lot of time on here so if you want to reach me directly you will be able to find me here. Additionally, I'm also going to use this as a medium for group discussions so in the future whenever uh, I'm doing a review on maybe a game or something like that I can uh, go ahead and uh, have the input of other users and that sort of thing and we can have a nice engaging conversation you know while a review is being done that way I can get feedback from other people and that sort of thing so you know we can really you know add some finesse to the show here so um, I think this is something that's really great I've spent all night on this channel and I've been chatting with a bunch of with a bunch of great guys I'm gonna go over uh, some of these people they've got channels on YouTube as well and I'd like you to check out their materials but um, so let's go ahead and get this installed I've already installed it but I'm gonna go through the motions again just for the benefit of you guys okay first I'm gonna go to download and you're going to select the installer for your distribution. I went and he went ahead and I installed the 64 team bit TeamSpeak installer. Okay. All right. And then you just click this. It will want to install to your downloads folder. Okay. I've already downloaded this. Just going through the motions real quickly for you. I'll go ahead and close this. I already have it. So what we're going to do is here. Uh, let's navigate to downloads real quick. All right, and then here is the file. It is TeamSpeak. All right, now what we need to do is we need to make sure it's executable. What you do is you right click on the file and select Properties. I've made this executable earlier. Go into Permissions, and you want to make sure that Execute is checked. If you're using GNOME 3, there'll just be a single checkbox that you need to check and then press close alright now we need to open up our terminal alright let me uh, go ahead and uh, let's clear the screen on this if I can learn how to type alright now Let's change directory to downloads with a capital D. All right, and then we want to list the contents of downloads. So we'll type in ls and then press enter. All right, now this is the file we want to execute. So I'll just highlight this 
right click copy next I'm going to type in dot forward slash and then right click paste and then press enter all right and then the installer will come up we will select our language which is English this will install TeamSpeak 3 on the computer do you wish to continue absolutely okay next I accept the terms of the license agreement next uh, we'll put it where we want to install it I'm going to uh, it said TeamSpeak 3 I'm just gonna call this 3b I've already got this installed so I'm just gonna remove this folder anyway and then next then you will press next again okay and then we can tell it to create a desktop shortcut if we want to and then we can launch TeamSpeak 3 so let's go ahead and do that let me close this now my colors that I have set up on my theme don't allow for the text and everything to show properly so I'm just gonna go ahead and change those settings right now I'm gonna go into options here and I'm gonna pick another design um, why don't I go with Windows or oxygen I think oxygen will work and select apply or OK All right, better yet, I'll just use my actual install. Um, I'm going to remove this from the desktop here. I'm just going to go into the actual install and I'll show you how to set this up. Okay, so just go with the default TeamSpeak 3 folder. And then I'm going to execute TS3 client Linux underscore AMD 64. Alright, now this has the settings that I want. Okay, first, we're going to have to configure this thing to work properly. Alright, so we're going to go into settings and then options. In design, you can change how it looks. You can choose several different themes. If I go with the GTK theme and select apply, it's going to have those ugly colors. You know, it matches my theme, but unfortunately the backgrounds, I just can't read the text. So uh, I'm just going to select a different theme. By the way, there are tons of themes that you can download for this online. Okay, this is good. Now, in capture, you want to set your capture mode to ALSA. And then the capture device for this here I am this is actually my webcam that I have this set up as but I'm gonna shut that off temporarily and I'm just gonna use my uh, device on my laptop okay and then in the you need to have this set up as push to talk okay and then you just press this button and select a hotkey combination. In my case, I used uh, page up and page down. And uh, that is uh, my combination, but you can set this up as uh, anything you want. And then you'll simply need to press begin test. So I'm going to do that now. Check one, two, check one, two okay it's working perfectly and it's using my keyboard microphone okay next you want to go into oh let me press no here I'm sorry press stop test here and apply now you want to go into playback here and you'll select um, you can select Pulse Audio or ALSA. I have uh, ALSA. That's perfectly fine. I'm going to play a test sound to make sure it's working. Okay, I don't hear anything here. 
so let's try also. Okay, this could be because I'm doing a screen test, but at any rate, this is how you want to have that set up. And then you can choose a playback device for that as well. Maybe that's the problem here. Okay, better result. Okay, now, you select apply on that, and then okay. Now next, you want to manage bookmarks, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and delete this because I'm going to show you how to add it. Okay, first, you're, and I'll have this information in the show notes. Uh, you want to label this Linux Distro. Let me zoom in on this so you can see it. Linux Distro TeamSpeak 3 Community. You want the IP address 66.135.59.124. Colon 10367, and then the name you are going to use. Do not use Linux Factory. That's my name, okay? Thank you. Okay, and then just select OK or apply, I should say. Ooh, let me do that again. My bad. <laughs> And I'll just call it Linux Community Chat. I'm going to go ahead and put that information in here. Okay, and then apply. Okay. Now it's just a matter of connecting. So all you just do is go into connections and connect. You press connect. Okay, and then bookmarks and you click your Linux community chat and as you can see here I have a number of people that are already in here and I've been speaking with most of these people uh, throughout the course of the evening and uh, well let's see if they can well I'm not gonna do any communications or chatting with them so pretty much that's all there is to it it's relatively easy to set up so go ahead and uh, visit me on this channel and all right they're all chatting and they're saying guess who's back and that sort of thing I'm not going to communicate or anything with them right now but um, but uh, these are some great guys to talk with and uh, so come on in visit me um, we'll have a lot of fun chatting if you have any questions and that sort of thing visit me on that channel and uh, you'll be able to get a direct answer from me and that sort of thing. So I'm going to spend a lot of my free time in here when I have time available. If you thought this was useful, please hit like and subscribe. Catch me on Facebook and Twitter. Please visit my blog and shout me a coffee. That way I can stay real crazy with the caffeine. You know what I mean? Caffeine is the only way I fly with two years of sobriety, man. You know? All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.